Morning, beautiful people. This is Brad from the beach. Uh, we're still following up with some thoughts out of uh, Mark's gospel. I want to pick up, if you would, uh, in the 13th uh, verse of the second chapter here. Uh, I get a little confused every then since I can't see well, but I do believe it's the 13th verse in the second chapter. So you guys bear with me here. Uh, what we find here is Jesus encountering a man named Levi, which I find incredibly interesting. Verse 13 says that once again, Jesus went out uh, the side to the lake and a crowd came to him and he began to watch them and teach them. And as he walked along the shore, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. And the only words that Jesus spoke that are recorded for us in scripture are Jesus simply said, follow me. And Jesus told him, and Levi got up and followed him. Did you find that just absolutely fascinating? One, that Jesus stops with a tax collector who didn't have the kind of reputation in the community that maybe some of us would, would have or would want to have. Uh, he was a man who uh, made a living taking more from people than he needed to take. That's what the tax collectors did. They got some for the Roman government. They got some for themselves. And so they weren't the most popular people in town. But Levi, when he hears that call, just those simple words, follow me, that Levi got up and followed after Jesus. You know, I don't think those words have changed. I think those are the words that come to every person born of man and woman in this realm. Regardless of what country you're from, regardless of what station in life you're from, I believe that Jesus is passing by and that he is saying to each of us and all of us, follow me. And then the question is, are we going to do that? Are we going to respond and follow him? The great commission was to go into all the world preach the gospel, and make disciples, and to teach those folks that you make disciples of all that you had been taught to you through the Holy Spirit. It's what the early disciples were told. Teach them what I've taught you. So we have this responsibility to do several things. One, to be witnesses, to bear witness to who Jesus is, and through the Holy Spirit, share that witness to tell people about Jesus, that the Holy Spirit would then speak to their hearts and say, come follow Jesus. We can say it. Holy Spirit needs to touch their hearts, but we have the responsibility to be out there amongst the people, inviting them to come and follow Jesus. Now for Levi, this was a, a radical life change. He left his vocation. He left whatever he had in terms of his place in the community it cost him something. And Jesus is pretty clear about this. Uh, it cost us when we determine that we're going to follow him. When we say yes to following him, we're to pick up our cross daily and follow him. Whatever that cost, follow him. And so I think the challenge for us with all the political stuff that's going on is it's not to get distracted from the fundamental call uh, for us as the people of God, we are called to follow him, not be led around by the opinions of people, but by the Holy Spirit bringing in our hearts and minds the truth of the gospel and the leading of what God has for us to be about in this season so that we can be the followers of Jesus that we've been called to be. So my challenge to you today is, hey, all of this stuff going on in the politics and the election and all these, other, they're important and they need resolution and there needs to be repentance and there needs to be reconciliation, needs to be forgiveness, all of these things. But while we are listening to God as to how to respond to that, let's not miss the fundamental call, that call to follow Jesus. So let's follow him, listen and obey what he says to be about in this season. I really believe that's the challenge before the church today. Listen to the call, see what he's saying, and do what he says, and not be distracted, put aside, turned away from, or whatever, by what's going on in the world. But be those people in the world that are leading people to Christ Jesus. 
This is Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.